Checking now in Money Matters this morning. Oil is trading above $40 per barrel as Hurricane Delta moves into the Gulf. And stock market projections, they have had a rocky morning given the tweets last night by the president. Jane King joins us live from New York with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. All right, how's it looking on, on the NASDAQ? At least the futures right now. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Uh, we are looking higher this morning, Jen, but what a 12 hours it's been. You're right. So um, basically last night, uh, the president tweeted he is ready to approve piecemeal help. So direct payments to people, help for small business, help for the airlines. But in terms of the overall big stimulus package, he called off those talks yesterday. So the Democrats were not negotiating in good faith. That is why we saw the down day yesterday. Looks like we may recover a little bit of that today. And of course, we're also watching oil as Hurricane Delta heads toward the Gulf of Mexico. There's also an oil worker strike in Norway. Uh, oil could fall if the stimulus talks continue to show signs of no progress, though. Well, big tech may be broken up. The clearest signal of that yet came from a House subcommittee report. This is Amazon, Facebook, Google, and Apple are powerful monopolies, kind of like the oil and railroad tycoons of years past. More hearings on this are to come. And Petco says it will no longer sell electronic collars. So this is the first major pet products chain to pull the items from stores and online. Animal rights groups have complained about them. They argue they cause the animals distress. The move does come as a broader corporate makeover of Petco takes place where it's trying to be kind of more of a health and wellness brand for animals. And Chick-fil-A is once again teens favorite fast food chain. The chicken chain topped the rankings of Gen Z's favorite restaurants for years in fact on this Piper Sandler biannual survey of teens. Now Chick-fil-A sales are in fact they're exploding up about 20% last year. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Thank you Jane.